this is an amazing feature, the laser rangefinder. In the top left, click on the RNG icon. This will bring up a red crosshairs on the control screen. Two other bits of information are displayed as well when this is clicked. The range from the aircraft to the target, in this case it is 200 meters. You also get the above sea level altitude of where the crosshairs are focused on and the lat long of the focused area. Center of the screen, you will see the zoom magnification. As the drone switches between cameras and at the end to a digital zoom, you really can see how fantastic the camera along with the laser rangefinder on the drone is. From 200 meters away, you really can see that it's going into the digital zoom range, but you can still read the door number 32 and see the doorbell and also the letterbox and the door handle. And as we zoom out, Again, you can see how good the zoom is. This is one of the most amazing features. It's the Smart Tracking and AI. Click on Smart Track and then double tap on a vehicle of interest. Watch as the drone pivots, zooms and tracks that moving vehicle. It can even track the vehicle in amongst other vehicles if it briefly goes behind a tree or a fence. And as I enable the laser rangefinder, you can see the distance that it can track. The screen on the controller is really immersive, so you do have to sometimes just remember to look up and actually make sure that the drone is still in a safe position. It looks like the drone is moving and following the car. It's basically the zoom. The drone is staying in the position that you left it in. The drone keeps tracking out to 390 meters. I'm going to track this white car now. As you can see, double tap again and the drone focuses straight in on it. I've activated the laser rangefinder so we can see how far away the vehicle is and the drone tracking capability is, and I think you'll be quite impressed. Even as the vehicle goes behind the trees, the drone can still keep a lock on it. The vehicle is over 700 meters away. We finish this track at over 900 meters as it goes behind the building. It's really impressive that even though it's quite hazy outside and the sun is hidden behind clouds, the drone is still able to keep a good track of the vehicle. As it goes behind some trees again the drone still tracks it it looks like after a bit it sort of loses a bit of track and the square turns orange which i think is probably like a seeking mode another great feature is the ai detection for people boats and vehicles to activate it click on the ai icon and it will start to search for people vehicles and boats i've activated the laser rangefinder and i'm 300 meters away and it's given me an icon that and it correctly identified a person i'm now going to double tap on that person and see about smart tracking and there we go 
the drone is zooming in and tracking on this walker in the park. Absolutely fantastic. I've not read this in any of the DJI manuals, but it does look like the AI can detect animals to a degree. And then you can also track them. So here, from quite far away, it quite easily detected the person. And then it's detected the animals. Okay, the icon is of a person. But then just double click and it seems to be able to track here a dog. This one is very interesting here it's picked up a person from quite some distance away behind some trees and then also it's picking up animals so here we've got a bird in a tree and it's picked that up as the bird flies off because there's a dog running around as well Another cool feature is the AI subject alert. Again, we've got sort of a count of people and vehicles that the aircraft has detected. Open the drop down and then click on alert. And you'll see just the screen is full because this is a town, there's loads of cars and people. I think that this is probably best used if you're in the middle of a countryside and you're looking for a person or looking for a car. You can also deselect subjects, so if you only want to look for people or only want to look for a car, then everything else can be removed. Another interesting feature is when you have the AI mode selected, simply click on the map and in the map view, the AI subjects come up as little green dots absolutely fantastic and also what you have there is the viewpoint of the drone camera so you can see on the map what the drone camera is pointing to and its sort of field of vision this is a feature that is also available on the dji mavic 3e the high res grid image and this is perfect for if you're doing inspections and you don't want to get down too close to the building the drone takes an overview image and then it takes a series of zoomed in high resolution images it packages it all together and creates a html file which is navigatable Another interesting feature is the ability to draw annotations directly onto the image. These annotations are also placed onto the map. And with these annotations, which is very clever, is it will actually measure on the screen the distance. I hope you have found this little guide informative. I've really enjoyed going out and uh, figuring out all the different features that this new Matrice 4 